Hello everyone and welcome back to the Node.js course. In previous lesson we just created the route handler for all hyphen blocks page and the single hyphen block. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you those pages. This is the single hyphen block page but this only containing a javascript object like this. But that's not the case. That's not the page that I want to show. But I'm going to go ahead and show you that all hyphen block page here that's only containing a javascript object like this but i want to delete those instead of that i want to output these values into my views i'm going to visit into my home page now that is root path in this case we can see some blocks available here but those blocks are just demo blocks let me go ahead and show you in my express app here route handler of root path you can see we have this array and we are passing that array to my index.ejs file that available here okay now we are showing those content by checking the size of the array and uh, checking whether it is equitable and showing those here but this code is correct all we have to do is pass in an array to this location okay now instead of passing in this demo content i want to pass in my mongodb collection data of blocks to here okay for that i'm going to just create a new route handler and redirect this root path to that path okay now to do that i'm going to go ahead and say app.get and in the parenthesis i'm going to define the path as forward slash blocks okay now this will include the callback function and in this callback function that's including request and the response object okay now equals ending angle bracket and then curly braces like this now i'm going to go ahead and just copy this response dot render method to here right now i'm going to just delete this demo content and redirect this part to here to do that i'm going to say res dot redirect and then i'm going to define the part to blocks here okay that is it now instead of passing in the blocks i want to pass my collection data that means i want to retrieve those to retrieve those i'm going to write the program here i can say my block model here that we are importing here from our model which is this one we are having the schema and then the model right let's go down to the below here I'm going to use the method known as find and that method will allow us to retrieve all collection data here this data that means total documents and this is the asynchronous method that means we have to tack on the then method then this will include the result and this is a callback function that means equals ending angle bracket and then curly braces now we can put our result to here that means we have to just cut this and I'm going to render my view now press dot render and the view I'm going to use is my index.ejs file we really don't want to say ejs we can keep the index now the second one as the parameter we can pass in a object now this object will contain in the title that title is we can define as all blocks now the second property we can say blocks that means in the index.ejs file it is checking the our blocks that retrieve from our express app here okay then we have to keep that blocks property then instead of passing in an array like we did earlier as demo data we can pass in this result 
because here in the collection you can see title snippet body those keys are exactly matching with our cases available in index.ejs you can see the, it is checking the title and the snippet now I'm going to go ahead and just end up with the semicolon here now I'm going to tack on the cache method this including a callback function and let define the argument as error now I'm going to console.log the error alright now let's simplify this I'm going to just add a new line space here also to then method alright now I'm going to save this and my browser I'm going to just refresh my home page now we can see new block and the snippet new block 2 and the snippet here we can see those properties new block 2 alright and there is one more thing to show that is the short method and that method will allow us to show data with the particular fields for example we can show the data depends on the created at let's go ahead and do that we have to pass in a parameter as an object here now we can define the property name that is created at let's simplify this okay now we can say as the value minus one and this minus one define the descending order right and that means newest to oldest now I'm going to go ahead and open my browser here and click refresh now you can see that was changed the new one is new block 2 and that is the newest one that created in our mongodb collection now let's quickly change this hyphen 1 to just 1 and then this will define the ascending order that means oldest to newest let me go ahead and show you the changes all right we can see new block here because that is the oldest one that is it for this lecture and i will see in the next lecture thank you